Welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through the pepper plants that I have outside uh, in my uh, driveway, in my garage. I'm not going to go through the garden today, um, so let's get going. This one is a Sugar Rush Peach, which is doing pretty good. It's in a tiny, tiny pot. You see it grew sideways, but it grew straight up afterwards. It's doing really well. Pods everywhere. There's one right there that took. We'll see what happens with that one. This one is supposed to be a Trinidad Scorpion, but this was a seed from Amazon. It came in a packet of, you know, five seeds. So I don't believe that it is a Trinidad Scorpion. We'll see what it is. Um, it had some bug problems, so I cut all the leaves off. I trimmed it back, and it seems to be coming back pretty nice. You know, there's no bugs on it anymore. Uh, this one right here is doing really, really well. Uh, there's pods everywhere. And it's the same Trinidad seed from Amazon. Same packet. But it's completely different. The pods are different shapes. We'll see what that turns out to be. This one here in a five gallon bucket is my Carolina Reaper. Which is doing pretty well. That looks like a Reaper. There's flowers everywhere so we'll see what happens. There's another one. That's Reaper-ish. There's one right there. There's another one. There's one. I mean, as soon as the temperature dropped here in Florida, that they just started producing like crazy. There's there's two more. There's another one. There's one. Another Man, they're showing up all over the place now. There's flowers everywhere. This one, this is another Carolina Reaper that I used to have in a five-gallon bucket. And then it grew too big out of that. And so I decided to put in a, I think it's a six or seven-gallon, which is this guy right here. Yeah, I can't I can't tell what that is, but it's I I want to say it's probably close to a seven gallon But since it's so narrow on the bottom That every time the wind blew That would fall over so I didn't want uh, any of the peppers to actually fall off So I'd put it in this pot and it's taken off very very well But I didn't have enough soil to cover all the way up But it it's no big deal because all these roots right here Oh, will actually be air roots so they will suck up air and it's doing wonderful I mean this is at my eyeballs right now and I'm almost six foot so if you look up to the top there that that is probably six foot two so I mean it's it's doing amazing I mean it's very very green doing healthy Minus one or two leaves that fall off, which is usual. Uh, there's flowers everywhere on this thing. There's a pod somewhere around here. There's a couple of them. Quite a few of them, actually. Well, there's one right there, but they're the same color as the leaves and are hiding. And it's dark outside, so you're not going to be able to see them. Uh, here is another Carolina Reaper. And it's a square bucket, so it's probably close to a four gallon. And... Yep, that looks like a reaper to me. So, uh, it's not quite as 
large because it's in a smaller bucket so uh, the pot size does matter in soil of how large they get because you can see the difference between that one and this one and this one is actually lower it's probably about two inches lower the pot so it's huge and there's another reaper right there anyhow down here it's KS lemon starburst it's doing really well I just put that in a five gallon bucket probably uh, two and a half weeks ago and then you top it right there that tiny little piece right there that's all you got to do you don't have to chop you don't have to chop the whole top of it off right there and then you're disappointed because you have half a plant now nope all you have to do is just the two little leaves that come off the top cut that off and it's going to reproduce all the way down the bottom and you see the two little nodes right there of both sides there's another one down here that'll start so it'll just widen that plant um, here's another KS lemon starburst I just put in here maybe less than a week ago so when it grows it'll get all the way up got a cage everything this one I decided to put in a uh, five inch mortar tube it is a BOC crossed with a Reaper We'll see how it does in this little tube where the roots have to go straight down. This is a SRTSL. It's a Sarah Rose something, something long, I believe. I don't know. I don't remember at the moment. Um, it's doing okay, but something just ate a freaking hole in that thing. Look at that. So I got both of them in this. I don't know what size that is. Who cares? Um, over here, and I decided to use a grocery store cloth bag to put a plant in, which works out pretty well because the air goes right through the side. And this is another seed from Amazon of the Trinidad Scorpion ones. And this one is actually a bell pepper because we grew a full-size bell pepper on it and a couple of them and ate them. But like I said, you know, it's, it's I trimmed them all off. I've had, you know, some bug problems on this one, some aphids. Love the leaves on these bell peppers. So I cut them all off up on top and then look what's happening now. All the shoots on the bottom are starting to show up and if you look right there you see a couple of little buds right there in the middle how awesome is that go over here this is a KS white tie it's doing very 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 well and what you have to do with most of your pepper plants is way down here on the bottom if I can get down there down here right there when they're smaller you gotta top them right there see what happens when you top them now I have one two three four so instead of going straight up you top them now that you have five different shoots and each five shoots look at that each five shoots have buds everywhere that are going to end up being flowers see that this one over here is a don't know tags gone so it's a no name I want to say it's a, somebody gave me these seeds so I don't remember this one's doing very well and it is a another oh wow another Trinidad scorpion pepper so that's another am, uh, seed from the Amazon package and as you can see it's a completely different plant 
So, when you order something from eBay or Amazon, you never know, actually know what you're going to get. Uh, that is a jigsaw. I topped. There's one, two, three, four shoots out of that one. So, see what happens there. A Bahamian goat. That's grown straight up. I just topped it, and now look, right where I topped it. Now you see buds. Bud shooting out of there, and since I topped it, now if you look underneath, you have new shoots everywhere. New leaves all over the place. Okay, well that's a banana. Uh, this one is a uh, ghost pepper. It's ghost pepper I put in a five gallon pot. It's doing very, very well. It took well to that. Uh, there's one down there. It's gotten big. There's another one. Another little baby right there. It's gotten big. Look at this. And it's doing very, very well. It's all over. Look, there's another one. I just shoot up right from, from the bottom. It's huge. This one over here is a California Reaper. I put in a five gallon bucket and now it has brand new shoots. Just maybe a half an inch above the soil. Brand new shoots all the way up. Got some of this almost ready I mean look at the size of these things they are huge there's one that's ready this one's not quite ready it has a little green right here I'm gonna send those to uh, Austin Burnings so he could do a review with his cousin see what happens I mean, it's very, very prolific plant. And, I mean, there's one right there. There's another one. They're all over the place. Here's one that's starting to turn from green to yellow, and I gotta wait for it to turn orange. I mean, they're all over the place, but I can't find them. You know, because they're the same color as their freaking leaves. Oh, there's one. Just ran into that one. Uh, this one is my extra water fountain that I had laying around and I turned it into hydroponics But I put tomato uh, clippings from a tomato in there. That one's not doing too well. Look at that. It's just Falling apart. This one is turning brown. This is a uh, Jigsaw I believe it seems to be doing okay Roots are popping out everywhere. This is a lemon starburst. It still needs to get used to it because it was probably too little when I put it in there. There's one root coming out. Uh, that one didn't like it, so who cares? So I don't know what's going on, but we'll figure it out. This is what I feed them. I have the floor grow series, the liquid, uh, the grow, the micro, the bloom, and then I also have the powder mix, which is quite a bit stronger, which is the cool bloom, maxi bloom, and the maxi grow. The difference is you got a, a 216 for the grow, and the grow on this one is. 10, 5, 14. You know, and the bloom is a 0, 5, 4. And the bloom on this one is 5, 15, 14. So, if you follow the directions on these things, you actually need to use a little bit less until the plants get used to it, and then you could probably crank it up. And I, 
cool bloom is amazing because if you if your plant's starting to flower and then you feed it some cool bloom but with this you only need a quarter teaspoon per gallon of water and if you're going to use water make sure it's like ro water or something like that that does not have chlorine in it because the chlorine is actually going to um destroy your organisms and stuff if that's what you want to call it i, I don't know the proper terminology for it but the 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 bacteria that breaks down all the chemicals in there so that your roots can actually use them it will destroy them so then i also have a uh, epsom salt ph down ph up cow mag you need that and inside of here is a bag full of natural tomato and vegetable food which is a 936 uh, it's a powder organic powder that you can actually mix uh, let's see in water it says your container vegetables which are in pots one scoop which is one tea one tablespoon per gallon and it's not bad because it's a quite a big bag it's a one pound bag so every time you feed your plants you're only using one tablespoon that's not bad but it works very very well for uh, seedlings and smaller plants but my six foot Carolina Reaper this does not work it needs a lot more nitrogen my leaves are turning yellow due to lack of nitrogen and over here to my grow shelf I have seven pot 007 red right here I have these back six are big olive mamas big mustard mama up here a boot yellow brain right here maruga scorpion crossed with a bahamian goat right there uh bootla mustard back here we have boc crossed with a reaper long orange we'll see what that turns out to be uh daisy cutter flats and all this row right here is uh ks lemon starburst Big Monster Mama. And these. Oh, look at that. Little baby. Right there. These are Chocolate Scotch Bonnets. These are my Ghost F2 Crosses. We'll see what that turns out to be. I'm not going to name them yet because i got to wait quite a while. Uh, Capshito. BBG7. This whole row right here. And all this stuff on the top is just uh, uh, cayenne pepper to keep the bugs off it. Uh, these are my competition 2019 winter is canning cans. We got KS White Tie, Fence Tie Cluster, Lemon Starburst. Another KS white tie. I mean, they're doing very well. In a little can. It's amazing. Uh, yellow Reapers. We got two of them there. Uh, Reaper crossed with a lemon drop. Primo Orange. Uh, Vince Tie Clusters. Another KS white tie. Some more lemon Starburst. I got one, two, three of them right there. I need to separate them soon. A Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion in this little pot. That's cute. That's cute, isn't it? Little pot. It's doing pretty good. Uh, purple UFO. These things have always been long and skinny, no matter what you do. Purple UFO here. Purple UFO there. Long and skinny. Uh, purple UFO here. Long and skinny. Another one right here it's like no matter what you do it's like that's their nature uh, another Vince tie cluster not sure what that one is it's not labeled 
Uh, another Vince tie cluster back there. Got a couple down here. This one is a jigsaw. Looks pretty well. I just topped it. Just topped it like two days ago. And you can see a little guy starting right there. Right there. Uh, Sugar Rush Peach. Doing very well. And a bubble gum. Doing pretty good also. These are my little guys. I'm just starting. Uh, Stracha Hornets. Right here in the middle. These six over here to the left are Purple Ghosts from Awesome Burning. Uh, Reaper Cross with a Maruga. And these are the Pepper XXX, which I think they're just a knockoff, no name, from the pe uh, Pepper X. So, who knows? We'll see what it is. And this guy over here, this is a lettuce, actually. Let me put him up here so you can see him. That's a lettuce. And it's really fuzzy. So I don't I don't know why you would grow lettuce that's fuzzy that feels like carpet. You know, because I'm not gonna eat it. It looks cool though. But that's it. That's uh that's my front yard if you call it my driveway and my little growth shelf so uh, I'll go through the garden on another video until then it's Mikey Lexit